Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try the one of these Yellowstone meals. This one is the Dutton Family Barbecue Meatloaf and Mash. It is roasted, roasted beef meatloaf topped with a sweet and tangy barbecue sauce and mashed potatoes topped with cheddar cheese. Um, it is a 13 and a half ounce, 382 gram meal. It says it's 12 grams of protein per serving. Uh, we bought this at Walmart. It was $5.94, which isn't bad for the size meal. It is. It's a pretty good size. Uh, let's see. 330 calorie calories for half the container, basically 191 grams. There's two servings in the container. Um, so a serving size with one loaf. Serving size is one loaf with gravy and mashed potatoes. Hmm. Anyway, it's basically half. Um, 650 calories for the whole thing. And let's see. Prep is to cut the film to vent. Um, cook on high for four minutes. Uncover, flip the meatloaf patties and stir sauce. Continue on high for four minutes. So you're going to cook it for another uh, four minutes and let it sit for a minute. So it says uncovered. So you're going to cook for four minutes, flip the meatloaf over, stir the sauce up a little bit, leave it uncovered, and then do another four minutes. So that's, that's, what, that's how I read it, at least. Sometimes I don't necessarily read them correctly, but we'll see. So I'm expecting two meatloaf patties in here. Yeah, two little meatloaf patties, not huge, and mashed potatoes in there. I guess you'd have to split them in half to get the calories you want. I don't know. Um, so anyway, it says to vent it. So let's vent it over. Let's vent it. Let's just vent this corner right here. So it's vented. I'm going to get it in the microwave for four minutes, flip over the stuff, and then do another four minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I have to let it set for a minute. Um, the sauce got a little uh, dried out on the edges. It only happens on the edges. And I did start really, really good, so I don't care. It's fine with me. I, don't, I like those little little parts, little um, sugary parts. Uh, potatoes, I, it didn't say specifically to stir the potatoes. It said the sauce, but I stirred the potatoes too because I didn't want them to get uh, burnt on the sides because they do tend to dry out and burn on the sides with uh, every microwave that I've ever known to man does that. So for the someone that thinks I needed a new microwave, then I guess you just don't know how microwave works. Anyway, um, so here it is on the microwave. I'm gonna take it over the table and we'll give it a try. I said that about the microwave just because I just did. Um, if I didn't want that to happen, I could lower the time on my microwave. My microwave is a like a big microwave. Um, I think it's like a 1300 watt microwave. So it's a bigger microwave. So I have to adjust my time down. For these meals that don't give me a range, I usually just stick them in there for the time it says. And if it does this, who cares? I don't care. It doesn't bother me any. Um, does it bother you? I don't. I mean, what difference does it make? You're not eating it. What difference does it make to you? Um, so anyway, I'm going to cut this meatloaf up a little bit. And I'm going to try, I'm going to try the meatloaf first. It looks pretty good. It's very, um, very meat, pretty decently thick. It's not, um, like some of these meals that are, they say they're meatloaf. Uh, they use the same thing for their meatloaf and their Salisbury steak. Um, which is, they should be a little different, but they don't. So here we go. Mm. I like that flavor. I usually don't have, like, meatloaf for me is not a barbecue thing. So this one actually has, sorry, I moved you. Um, this one has barbecue sauce on the top of it, which is actually pretty good. It's almost like a, it's like a hamburger patty or a ground beef patty. Um, that's been cooked and then it's had barbecue sauce put on there. Except this one, the texture is a little different. You can tell they put some filler in there like um, a breadcrumb or something like that. Although I do have to say, a lot of times when they put like breadcrumbs or fillers, they, um, they're really soft and kind of uh, mushy. This is not like that. It's actually still uh, firm. It has some texture to it, so I really like that. I like the texture of it too. And the flavor is actually denser than um, most meatloafs you have. So it does remind me more of a uh, ground beef patty that's been cooked than a, than a meatloaf, just, just saying. So I'm gonna try the mashed potatoes. They look pretty plain. They do have some cheese on them. They got a little bit of green. I guess these are like scallions, but they could be parsley too, just to give it some greenness. But here we go. It doesn't say 
It just says mashed potatoes topped with cheddar cheese. It doesn't say what the green things are. And they're also showing the meatloaf having little green peppers in it. I guess there are some little green things on there, but I didn't, I didn't taste any of them. I can see the little peppers in there, but it's not a flavor you, that, that you get out of the meatloaf. I think it's just because that barbecue sauce is so strong on the meatloaf that you don't, um, you don't taste the peppers in there. Um, the mashed potatoes are okay. They're, uh, they're, they are kind of plain. Texture-wise, they're not bad. Now, some of the pieces are a little um, dried out, uh, probably the ones on the edge, but um, that was a piece of sauce. Um, but overall, the mashed potatoes are really good and, and, and creamy. They're, they're not really thick and clumpy. They're a little thick, but not super thick, like really clumped up like on a, just a tight ball of mashed potatoes. I would eat this by, because the mashed potatoes are a little tight, so I would eat this by taking a thing of mashed potatoes, stabbing a bite of meatloaf, and making sure I got a little sauce on it. That's how I would eat this entire meal. Hmm. So you get the mashed potatoes and um, adds a creaminess to it, kind of like a creamy texture. The sauce adds uh, the moisture to it, and then the meatloaf adds that um, kind of denser, chewier texture, or a chew, a texture that you're actually chewing on. That is for sure the way to go um, if you're gonna eat these, uh, this meal. The mashed potatoes themselves, they're, they're okay. They're just, um, they're just a little bland. It's, it's not like they're bad. They're just, they don't have like a garlic or um, onions or anything like that in them or gravy or anything. It's just mashed potatoes with some cheese on. And honestly, I don't get the cheese a lot. So it's just really mashed potatoes. Even if you get mashed potatoes with a little bit of barbecue sauce, um, I think you'd be happier with that than just the mashed potatoes. But overall, I really like this meal. It's really, um, has a good texture and everything. Everything has a nice texture going. The, uh, the flavors are, um, okay. The mashed potatoes, like I said, could be a little looser, a little thinner, but, um, not bad at all, especially if you eat it with the sauce and the, and the meatloaf together. And the meatloaf itself is a little dense, but it's not bad. It's not, it's not as, uh, loose as, um, uh, traditional meatloaf is it's more like a, a patty so just keep that in mind um i'm gonna give this one i'm gonna give it a four out of five i really wish the the meatloaf itself had more um actual flavor itself in the meat itself like onions and peppers and so like that and like i said you can see like like i can see there's a pepper right here hold on show you a perfect example you can see the pepper right there well maybe you can't but there it is you can see the pepper, but when you try it, you really, you really don't taste that. And it's just because that meatloaf, I mean the barbecue sauce, is such a strong sweet meat, meat um, barbecue sauce that you just kind of covers up those flavors. So overall, it's okay. I would definitely get this one again, 100%. I would, I would eat this again anytime. Um, it's a good meal. Um, quite a bit of food for six bucks, less than six bucks. Yeah, five ninety four, less than a little bit less than six bucks. You get a lot of food, and um, I think you'll be pretty full if you eat this whole thing. And um, yeah, it's pretty good too. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.